The troubles were bad, they were horrendous. That first year was a baptism of fire, literally driving around burning buses and cars and not thinking once about it that it was a problem. Confidentiality meant nothing. You're in our area, you let us know who you are, what you're doing, otherwise you're not welcome and out you go. It was never really addressed, it was just accepted. This was the reality we were living with. The abnormal was, was normal. When I was a probation officer in the West Belfast team, at the same time was forced out of my home, being attacked, some neighbours were murdered. There was interference, there was disruption. I remember stupid situations where people would sort of probe for your religion and you'd say, it's not important, I'm a social worker. I was working with a team of very committed people within a service that was really trying to make a difference. We laughed together and we cried together and we were frightened together. I suppose as Seamus Heaney put it, whatever you say, say nothing. You knew, but you didn't know, there was paramilitary activity going on. The realities then were not talked about and not shared. We didn't quite know what was happening to us. That is the thing that scares me the most, I think. We didn't actually understand very well in the early years of the Troubles what the impact was. It wasn't an easy journey and we were challenging ourselves. When you reflected back then, some months later, you thought, how did I get through that? I think I'm a much better social worker than I would have been if I hadn't had those experiences. It did help us develop and grow and I think we did come out of it stronger. It's important that social workers who have no experience of the conflict do recognise that their profession has a historical context and the skills and knowledge they're taught hasn't just been plucked from the ether. It's good to open this up and let's hear the, the voices of people who've been through so much. It's about upping the game, about increasing the debate and providing the evidence.